Hello and welcome to Flyers coverage of Aero 2022. Hey Trevor, we're here again. Um, this time we're on a booth with a GI275. I, everyone keeps talking to me about GI275s. What, what's the story? I, I, they didn't exist when I did my upgrade, so I got G5s. So tell me about 275s. Yeah, so um, everyone tries to compare the G5 with the GI275, and, and they, there is a lot of overlap there, absolutely, but um, they're kind of designed a little bit differently. I mean, what you notice straight away is the, the mounting of the, G5, uh, the GI275, so it's mounted from the back of the panel. Uh, I know you have your G5s recessed, but most of the people, Ian, um, put them at the front, and so you can see there's a difference there, obviously, from the ergonomics. Um, but also kind of the, the capability for the GI275 is significantly more than what we can offer with the G5. G5 has been a fantastically successful product for us, really it has, but the GI275 does so much more and I think that's a real reflection of the customer interest that we've seen in this, in this product. And again, like Smart Glide, like Autoland, like so much at Aero Friedrichshafen, it's the first time we've had this on display. I mean, really, we've not been doing shows for two years. Garmin's been continued to innovate and continue to bring new products to market. So yeah, this is the first time we've showcased that, uh, G showcased the GI275. So really, it's a, I mean, it's a, a, a three-in-one, a four-in-one, so airspeed, altitude, attitude, uh, heading information, we also have synthetic vision capability um, with the GI275. Um, we have engine indications with the GI275. We have a, a moving map um, with the GI275, um, CDI. Um, so it's really a flexible instrument um, that can be uh, installed in many different locations and in the cockpit and have lots and lots of different functions. So if, if someone buys a GI275, it's capable of doing all of these things or are the, each one a different software unlock or something? Yeah, great question. So technically, um, the units, uh, we have different flavors. So like the base model of the unit um, is used for a multi-function display um, or an engine indication system. And because that doesn't have the attitude um, or the air data aspect, you can only use it for that. Um, but like the attitude indicator can technically be used for the engine module or for the moving map. Um, but really it's how it's certified and installed. So if you have this as a primary attitude indicator, it always has to be a primary attitude indicator. You can't switch that to a moving map or something else. It has to be your, your primary instrumentation. So, um, but there is a lot of flexibility from the installation perspective. And you can see here is like a traditional six pack, right? And, and we've got your um, your attitude indicator in the middle position here, and we've got the CDI on the, on the left-hand side, and we've got the engine indication on the right-hand side. And you know, that was your traditional six-pack, and, and now we're adding lots of different capability with the, with the new instruments here. And, and I presume this, from people talking to me, this seems to be going down pretty well with the market, the, the flexibility and the, the fact that it's relatively easy to fit and install. Yeah, absolutely. So ease of installation, that's a huge, uh, a huge pull for customers, of course, especially with the challenges of getting time in avionics shops and, and, and things like that. The other thing, this has the ability to interface to an autopilot. Um, and that was one of the limitations of the G5, right? So the G5 could give the nav output signal to an autopilot, but you still had to retain your old gyros. And the advantage of the GI275 is if you wish to retain your old autopilot system but replace the gyros, this can do the gyro emulation. Of course, we have a retrofit autopilot that we've seen huge success with as well, but sometimes people just want to keep their old autopilot for, for whatever reason, and this can drive that autopilot. And that's a huge differentiation and, and a big customer pull as well. Great. Well, thank you very much for that. Have a good show. My pleasure. Thanks. So remember, like, comment, subscribe.